Hi, it's Mika, Fasting Weight Loss, and today is day 27 of my OMAD weight loss journey, 100 day challenge. <laughs> um, yesterday was successful OMAD. I felt like I did good. My weight is not showing that I did good. Now, I'm thinking that's because of the timing. Like if I went, it is... I could have go eat. I could have go um way right now. It's 6:53 and then I could have made that number better just by weighing now, but I weighed this morning. And when it was time to drink and eat before our fast started today, I drank um some water. So I think that's one reason and probably my food's not digesting because I'm eating at night. I'm eating around 8 15 or 8 o'clock, 8.03. Today is 8.03. So, and then I weigh in the morning. So, I don't know. I still think I did good, even though I don't like the number 241.0, which is what I am today. Um, That's what I am today. That's plus 1.8, but I still feel like I ate great. Um, I had an oatmeal, OMAD, not oatmeal, and it wasn't outrageous at all to me. Like, today I'm going to get some fast food. I'm just warning you for tomorrow because... I I went to do hair. I went to um, get my karate kid, <laughs> drop him. And then I came home for a minute, a minute, like 30 minutes. Then I went back to get him. Then I got my track kid. And now my track kid has personal training at eight, but I'm going to drop him um, to the YMCA, which is right next door. I'm going to drop him right now. Then he's going to stay there for like 30, 45 minutes. Then he's going to walk next door, do his personal training for basketball. And then I'm going to pick him up at nine. So I'm going to just get me something. Mm, maybe. I don't know. The timing is horrible because I need, I want to eat at 803, but I don't want to, I don't want to rush my food and I want to be at the house when I eat it. So yeah, just know today's food you probably won't like for tomorrow. I don't know what it's going to be. Um, and I'm not feeling good about eating animals. <laughs> I had a conversation with my client. It was supposed to be about cryptocurrency. And I don't know how the heck we got into eating. He's vegan. He's been vegan for many, many years. And he's sticking to it. And I asked him why. And yeah, I don't... Be okay, now I'm going to talk about Muslim fact. Okay, because we're not allowed to torture animals. Like, I was, telling him, I was telling somebody, I don't know if it was my son or who, that if I'm eating animals that are like tortured while they're like they're bred just to slaughter and they're bred just to like factory bred okay in very torturous situations I don't believe in that I have not watched these documentaries because I'm sure it wouldn't make me go vegan or vegetarian I don't know I'm not there but I don't know I'm not feeling good and I might go get a burger right now so but I I don't feel good about me eating animals that were not treated right, okay? So I think that's a sin. If I like knowingly am eating an animal that was mistreated and tortured, I think that's sinful. I'm saying that and I believe that to be true, but I'm not saying that's what God said, but to me, that's just common sense, okay? Muslim fact of the day is Muslims believe in an afterlife, um... And I'm going to talk about the good part of afterlife. Um, well, just afterlife, period, okay? It is a physical form for us. We're in a physical body, not this body. I'm not going to be fat. I'm going to be beautiful. Okay, I might already be beautiful, but I'm going to be really beautiful, like more beautiful than anyone on the earth, like any woman. I'm not going to be fat. I'm not going to be worried about losing weight. I'm going to eat, drink. I'm probably not going to be single, I might die single because, man, I'm okay with it because I would rather die single than deal, not be with a man that is good for me and treats me good and I treat him good and loves me the way I love him and vice versa. I've dealt with so much crud with men that, yeah, I'm not dealing with it. Like, I'm not doing it. I'd rather be lonely than unequally yokes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we live in a physical life and I believe if I make it to paradise, yeah, I will be, have my husband and I will have all beautiful, wonderful things, but paradise is so good. We can't even imagine how good it is. So anything we could imagine the best that our mind could come up with here 
it's better than that. It's like unimaginable. So that's motivation to do good. And then we do have Hellfire. I don't know if there's an in-between. I am not a scholar and I'm not even like studied like I should be. So other Muslims that might watch this might know better than me. But I know there's a heaven and a hell. We call it Jenna. And I think I don't even know the word for hellfire. But a lot of times we just say hellfire. At least Muslim Americans. Um, so yeah, it's physical. So if I end up in the bad place, I'm going to be physically hurting. And I feel like, okay, let me just stop. That's it. It's physical in the afterlife, okay? And we should not be eating animals that are tortured, okay? And I'm not saying I'm vegan. And I'm probably going to have a burger today. And that's bad. Like, bad, okay? So, that's my weight. Now, here is what I ate yesterday. How are you doing? And thank you for watching. And thank you for listening to every random thing I have to say. Here is my day... Mm, 27 um omed um cottage cheese under here is stuffed peppers i don't have any cream cheese today but it's cheese ground beef um turkey pepperoni and garlic this is cauliflower and this is one piece of baked fish the one from yesterday and this is caramel um white chocolate sugar-free pudding with macadamia nuts and chopped nuts this is what i'm eating for today